Hey people, we are back on Mercury Solid. So let's go. What was I doing? I was going out of here. On the wrong way. What I got to do? I got to call Meryl. Or Ginger Ass. This way. Okay. Out the hole. Okay. Let's kick it. Uh, I got calm arrow, calm arrow. What was our number again? Let me check the box here. Uh, okay. Okay, one four zero point one five. Okay. So it's one four zero point one five. Call. Hello? Who are you? Stop, thanks. I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. One from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. And just exactly who are you? I'm the bitch. The fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? Yeah, I'm snake, I motherfucker. I lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go He's right my back. bitch. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what Solid well, call me. Yeah. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Yeah, I'm a badass, I know. Sorry about before. I wasn't sure who were the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. They're boobies. Eyes. They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. Their beautiful, compassionate eyes. How oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Already Don't worry. done. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him. You're not brothers, are you? Man, I think this so codec is better than the one number four. This me? one's got like awesome facial expressions and shit. You were involved in this exercise. Y'all see. Y'all will see. Exactly happened here. I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons it's a giant so porn studio. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Nope. Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base. Called Tech Arms. For hmm. the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Boxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because yeah, why the fuck me? Because special officers refused handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But okay. Have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think mm -hmm. the terrorists want? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm not sure. She said. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing, you were able to keep them hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? I should put it in her hair. He's dead. What? Heart attack. I didn't do the it. Same as the Dharma chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm. Sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Well, Me can I go down without a mission yes. now? So I'm getting kind of bored. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Pants. Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing it to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. 
You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? Yep. You won't be the first time. I'm a badass. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. Oh, duh. The code is green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. So when awesome. I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets. Called the best jet to come, which is an awesome song. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I'd train my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now, you couldn't pull the trigger, bitch. You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. Yeah, she smells the dope. Later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. Damn right, Snake. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful. Can okay. I play now, please? Because I'm getting kind of fucking bored sitting in this chair. I'll contact you. Okay. Thank God. Give me a level 2 gap. See what shit's in there. We got grenades, probably. Yeah, grenades. So calm. Got some goodies. Got my goodies. Oh shit. Um those red beams, okay, they are lasers. And you use your thermal keys to seal. Just crawl underneath. Got me a fan ass. Now I can dog people. I mean kick their butt. I mean ass. Not I mean butt. Wait. I'm confused. Holy fuck. Thank you. Fucking guard. Push the button. Okay, we go in. Up, I think. Yeah, we're going up. Going up to the rhythm in the sky. Hello. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Okay. Yes. Where are you? Well, I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? It means you walk like a hope. Uh, nothing. 
Listen, you're a bit. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait. 